What's up, everybody? Welcome to the VGU TV Gamer Cast. Yes, the VGU TV Gamer Cast. We're not the VGU Topia podcast anymore, but we're gonna keep rolling along because this is episode 36, and there's no way we're turning back now. <laughs> not on my watch. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm your host, Joshua Mobley. With me this week is James Mangello. Hello. And Matt Mobley. Crunching away on saltines and chili. Do you like saltines? I'm not a big fan of them. I don't like saltines by themselves. You like chili I like how on perfectly <laughs> when you take a cheese slice and you cut and you kind of fold it into fours, they fit perfectly into saltines. So mm-hmm. I'm a fan of that. See, yeah, I, my I girlfriend like, is too. I like saltines like with my chili. I like saltines with my soup, but I don't like saltines by themselves. Too dry. Yeah, yeah, they dry your they're, mouth they're out. They're really a dipping crack. It's like you're, it's like yeah, you're you eating. Yeah, you have to have something on them. It's like you're eating sand at some point. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. You're like, well, how is That's this attractive? Harsh, but... <laughs> <laughs> how is this attractive to anyone on Earth? Do I gotta want any of that? <sighs> For real. Um. Yeah. So we are now VGU TV. That is. That's what's happening. So we encompass more than video games, and as such, the sorry about that, my other life, <laughs> their computer's yeah, doing something, dude. but uh, off the rails already. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we might as well burn this site to the ground and start <laughs> over. <laughs> Just started. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of a big media site now. We do a lot of other shows um, that. A couple of us are on, but we're going to do more than video games now. So this is now the video game podcast for VGU.TV. Woo! We also have the Gaming Roundtable, which the first episode just went up now, so you can go check that out on the site. Obviously, VGU.TV now. Don't go to VGUtopia. It's just going to send you to VGU.TV, whether you like it or not. So (laughs) So I guess you could go to VGUtopia. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just going to send you to where you need to be. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start. We're gonna we're gonna start this off like we always started off. What are you playing? So, James, uh, how many times did you beat Ghostbusters this week? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. This week, um, I, I played a little bit of Halo Four with a friend. Um, I played good. through. Was the, it a uh, girlfriend? Just like the beginning. No, no, not not that lucky. Oh. Um. And so I played a little bit of Halo multiplayer, um, and then I went. We went to I went up to New Jersey uh, to uh, and to hang out with this friend. He brought me to this retro video game store. I bought a couple games, so I played a little bit of Sonic Three, which I bought, mm-hmm. and um, I bought this Star Trek: The Next Generation game, really kind of out of novelty. And I played a little bit of it. Very difficult to figure out, but once you figure it out, it's still not easy. So, but it, it's kind of it's mm-hmm. funny. They have all the characters there and everything, but. Awesome. Not a game I would recommend unless you were a real big Star Trek fan, just to see the characters, because it's not very fun. And uh, I imagine like a Romulan bird, a Romulan warbird shows up, starts just blasting the Enterprise to pieces. You have like you take you have to turn all the way around. Like a, we have you have this like 360 degree like you know panoramic view of the bridge of the Enterprise, and you like you know you turn around to like get to the different things. Like you like right in front of you is the screen for communications. And then if you go down, you get to the con. But if you turn all the way around, you get to the computer and engineering and tactical and everything. You have to figure all this stuff out because there's like 10 different places you can go. And then once you figure that out, you go to a different screen. So like if you want to, if, if the Romulan Warbird shows up, communications, you got to make a 180 degree turn to get back to tactical. Then press the button, then go into this weird thing where the Enterprise, like you can shoot photon torpedoes out of the Enterprise at the Romulan thing. The Romulan ship fidgets and disappears all over the place. And every time you don't get, like, if you get hit, you stay where you are, and, like, the shields, like, bounce the hit off of it. But if you don't get, but, like, if you don't get hit, but they shoot at you, the Enterprise will, like, fly across the other end of the screen. It's very, very strange. I haven't really figured I out. I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a very fidgety game. It's like it? Romulans and Rubulans and Rubicons going on all over the place. Oh, Rubik's cubes and all that. <laughs> Rubik's cubes. <laughs> James, I gotta tell you. It's all this jive fa- I, Man, I didn't pass geometry. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 
I love that. I, I love that there was no geometry at all in what I said. And he just, he just through. made a bunch of. He just, he just said a bunch of words that sounded like they could be shapes. <laughs> oh, James, man. I got to tell you, mm-hmm. I'm a little sad about this news that you don't have a girlfriend. So I'm asking our fan base, Albert. Do you know any ladies? For <laughs> I thought you were going to be like Albert with you, Dave James. Virginia. <laughs> speaking of James, I is a doubt- pretty man. Speaking of uh, asking people random questions, yesterday I was <laughs> buying a coat for my girlfriend for a uh, present. I got myself a coat at it work because I got a discount. You know, so I was buying that. I was buying a coat, and I and the guy, um, my coworker who was ringing me up, I was like. Let me ask you a question. If you were a 21-year-old white girl, would you wear this? <laughs> and, he, and he is like, yeah, I'd rock that. And, and then he, he, he's like, no, hang on. And then he, like, he, he tries to, the, the girl behind me is waiting in line. A pretty girl, you know. He, he's, like, trying to get her attention to ask her if she would wear it. And he's like, starts like snapping and shit. I'm like, don't fucking snap at her, dude. Like, it's like so rude. Like, that's an awful idea. That's that's and then, that's like a step up from clapping at her. Yeah, I mean, and then it's just terrible. And then hey, eventually, like hey. the the fifth the fifth time, he goes, "Ma'am," like she she realizes. And then he's like, he's like, "Would you wear this?" And and she's like, "Yeah, I would wear that and stuff." But it, it was that's funny. Like, oh, I'm like, oh. Are you? Yeah. In the like, dude, don't snap at her. You know how rude that is. <laughs> I had a I had a waitress. I, I, you want to get fired? I guess like... was similar to ma'am, but it wasn't. I didn't say ma'am. I didn't call her ma'am, but she was like, "Don't call me ma'am. I'm only like 22." And I'm like, "Are you really gonna tell me not to say ma'am?" Uh, okay, like, uh, girl. I mean, what are you... first of all, I did. Basically <laughs> says, "Go fuck yourself." Secondly, now I'm gonna call you nothing but ma'am. Call her miss. I'm... I don't know. <laughs> Miss. Madam, Madam, yeah, Madam. Madam is what I was thinking. Madam is much worse. Yeah, Madam. Madam is for old professional women. She call her young lady. Okay, young young woman. <laughs> here's the here's the deal. <sighs> yeah, I was like, I, I couldn't believe that. Like, I was like, first off, I didn't call you, ma'am. And secondly, really, like, <laughs> fact, people, because like when I used to work at the theater, I or when I like you know umpire games or whatever. They would call me. I I go by James. I don't go by Jim or Jimmy or anything. I go by James. Oh, Jim. But they would always say Jim. And you know what? I didn't say anything because who cares? And when I was at the theater, people call me Bud or Dude or whatever. Like who that's cares? The, that's or, you know, I'm not gonna get. Yeah, I'm not gonna get mad at you for that. I worked at the. I worked at a bar, and like I'd never heard anybody say it before. But at the bar, everybody was just always like, "What's up, Bud?" Bud. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a real hey, sense Bray. of camaraderie. I hate. <laughs> I hate when people call me boss. Like, thanks, boss. Boss. I'm like, boss. dude, I'm not. Shut up. Especially at work, they're like, thanks, boss. It's like, I fucking work for you. <laughs> I had, I had a waiter call me buddy, and he got a bad tip. <laughs> like, I am, I am 24. <laughs> you do not call me buddy. I am not eight years old. That's awesome. I love that I call story. I buddy all the time. I hit a guy Sam, called me. Chief and sports. Oh, dude. Like, um, he could he could have given you like the most amazing service of all time, but just because he well, called obviously you. Obviously he didn't because he called me buddy. That is incredibly he inappropriate. He got no tip. <laughs> he like he did, didn't get no tip. I he did all tip. this stuff for you. He like negotiated with the boss and like got all this <laughs> stuff to work. But as soon as he called you, he's like, yeah, no problem, buddy. You're, you like squint your eyes. You're like, how dare he? <laughs> say no substitutions, but I worked something in there so I could substitute for you. Just okay, like, buddy. Nope. 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 <laughs> All right, we need to get back on video games. Uh, speaking <laughs> of Albert, Josh, you and I have to figure out. Uh, uh, Albert was saying that he'd like to bring Wing Wings uh, down to Newark. Oh my god! And and hang out with us. He can't hang out with James, unfortunately, unless James wants to. I really don't throw down some cash all the way down there to California. So no. Wing Wings, though, more. James. But, uh, you know, maybe... It's like Forrest Gump run. Yeah, run. just Forrest Gump run over here and come get some wing wings with us. Oh, my God. I could work, it would work off the uh, anything I ate there. Albert is a saint. 
and uh, we should probably figure that out on Twitter at some point. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, uh, sometime during the break, hanging out with the fans. Yeah, <laughs> all right, <laughs> hanging out with the fan. The fan. <laughs> the fan. Uh, um, I think. All right. all right, so I think that's it for me for what I was playing. That Star Trek. Game. <laughs> That's uh, really let's it. Go to, <laughs> let's go to Matt. What are you even playing? Matt? Like, yeah, this Star Trek Genesis game. That's it. Matt <laughs> <laughs> and Sonic and uh, and Halo. Oh yeah, so more Genesis games than an Xbox game. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Matt, what have you been playing? You get no tip, Josh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Boy. Um, I haven't played very much because. Uh, as Josh will be able to tell you, it's finals week. Yeah, it is. So, I mostly turn on Netflix, watch some Scrubs or Family Guy while uh, while I study. Because I've seen every one of those episodes, so it's really just white noise. But, um... Pretty much. But, uh, when I do get around to plan, I, ha- I popped in, uh... God of War, Ghost of... Sparta. Sparta, Sparta for a little while. I don't know what it is, man. Like I like I like the console games, but the PSP game is like every time I fire it up, just I play from like ch- uh, from like save point to save point, and when I like I start up my save, I get to the next save point, I'm like uh, I'm done for the uh, for the night. <laughs> I love God of War, man. Can't get enough. I'm like I just fun. I don't know what it is. Like I like God of War, I just don't like it that much. <laughs> I love that series. It's so fun. Uh-huh. Grand Theft Auto 4, still doing my my thing that I was talking about last week. And uh, the last game I've been playing, which will be a great segue for Josh, is the Devil May Cry HD Collection. Yeah. I've been playing the first Devil May Cry. I also downloaded Bioshock 2, but I haven't played it yet. Woo! Uh, I, I already have a copy, but I downloaded my free PlayStation Plus copy. Woo! Yeah, so did I. I did it. And uh, I only played a little bit of multiplayer. I was getting back in that, and there's a lot of there's a lot of new people on multiplayer. So obviously, I was doing pretty damn good. Yeah. But uh, I I still really really like the multiplayer in that game. I I don't think and it's I'm great. Glad I think it could use some improvements, but I it's, it's really it fun. Is fun. Yeah, I just I, it's it's fun. I don't know. Yeah, and I'm glad people still play it because it'd be depressing if no one played that. Still, there's like yeah. people you can you can get all the way to rank 50 on on Bioshock multiplayer, which takes a long time. And after that, you can start over, and it you know kind of like how games proceed. Like and there's legacy. tons of there are tons of people online that have like the second level 50, and I'm like, dude, and you're still playing. Like that's some dedication, you know. Like obviously that game still has people that love it enough to keep playing. I I don't know about any of the other consoles, but the PS3 community <laughs> is still alive and well. I don't know. I don't know yeah. if there's still like people on PC rocking that, you know. Or but, Xbox, yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't know. They might all be on the blops. Yeah, I have a, the, the the Xbox Live community kind of has a short attention span. When some yeah. when something comes out, it's over. They're like, yep. That's what I'm doing now. Yeah, with P- uh, PS3, I, I feel like a lot of people just kind of... Well, yeah. If they I'll, find something they love, they try to stick with it. Well, I'll, well, that happens, like, everyone goes to what's new. So, like, you know, when Uncharted comes that, out, that's everybody's on Uncharted, but then it kind of funnels down to, like, that percentage of people that are still going to play it, like us. Right. But well, That's good. That's good. But I always, I always think it's depressing when no one plays a game. I always, I always, I like to imagine that every single game that's got online, somebody's still there. You know. Try playing Ghostbusters online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, dude. Why don't you go on the Ghostbusters Reddit and organize like a play night? They get some. Well, they're actually doing uh, Ghostbusters fans is, um, is doing something on. Hang on. Like later in the month, they're doing a. Uh, a thing See, bitch, where they're going to be playing on Xbox. Playing the PSN <laughs> server's actually down. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're doing. Yeah, December seventeenth. I mean, they already have over a hundred people. But like, <laughs> just day to day. The last time I tried, the last time I tried, um, it took me. I was about thirty minutes of just like looking for a game, looking for a game, looking for a game. Can't find one. Yeah, well, that's why you hook up with. You got to go on there and give people your gamer tag. So like, you hook up with people that. Well, have I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> Well, well, no, it's just like I just want to play the game. Everyone, just shut up and let me play, and then I'll, uh, we can all like 
play. Don't call me buddy and just shut just the Don't call me buddy. Just shut up and let me play the game. It's kind of like in Halo, too. I don't want to talk to the people I'm playing with in Halo. Just shut up. He doesn't even want to talk to me. He's like, you want to play Halo? And he's just like, not oh, really. I'm like, yeah, I'll play I Halo, but no Skype call, no no headphones, no nothing. Let's just, you're in there, and I'm Crazy. in there at the same time. And that's Crazy. The only... Matt and I have the funniest fucking conversations on Uncharted. Oh, my God, yes. And, that, and, uh, and by the way, listeners, that's not true. I love talking to Josh when we play Halo. <laughs> he's lying. I know. I got, I got to get my Uncharted disc, but I'm poor right now. But yeah, I, I just could. I just worked all weekend, so my check is gonna be ballin'. So I'm gonna go pick that up. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go. It's pick, gonna be ballin'. It's gonna be ballin'. All right, like, <laughs> and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go get that, and um, I'm gonna get a new Uncharted three disc because mine's all fucked up. And then I'm gonna get Gears three, so James, you and I can play Horde. Awesome. For VG uh-huh. plays. Yeah. And then I'm going to... I have a coupon for buy two, get one free, so I'm going to get Dragon Age 1, because I kind of want to play it again. <laughs> you can get the you can get the Dragon Age 1 with the Awakening expansion for like eight nine dollars I figured I would just get it for free. So... Hey, what the hell, you know? Is that... Matt, wait. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> That's it. Remember, I used Devil May Cry as a segue. That's right. right. Anyway, so yeah, I I started the Devil May Cry HD collection. So obviously I started number one. Now, listeners, I haven't played Devil May Cry. I played Devil May Cry 1 once. He's never played 3. Yeah, I have. You you have played 3? Who was it that hadn't played 3? I don't know. I haven't beat it, though. I've never played 2, because everyone told me it was awful. 2's not... Okay, I played 2. 2's not awful, it's just not as good as the other 2. Is it is it like four? Is it like all right? You know? Yeah, it's like four. It's like it's it's okay. It's passable. It's, you're like, yeah, this isn't terrible. It's just not as good. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. So I didn't remember. I I didn't remember how the game was at all. Like I just dove he's right like, back. He's in. like asking for help on Twitter. I yeah, I literally like, was like, like, how do I dodge? I don't even remember. And I'm like dude, giving them controls on Twitter. Dude, the dodge sucks in Devil May Cry 1. Dodge, dodge is much better in 3. Yeah, well, um, yeah, totally, because 3 is a better game, but dodge in number 1 is awful. You can only go, you can only dodge left or right. You can't dodge forward, and you can't, like, back roll or anything, which I think is the, I mean, you can back flip, but that's not the same, you know? <laughs> and, and, whatever. And the game... Honestly, it yeah, it's an action game, but it doesn't feel like an action game. It feels yes. like Resident Evil with action controls. I'm like picking up keys and shit and unlocking doors and the text is like really really slow. And also, what's the deal? You press, wait, you have to press uh, uh, O. You have to press O to speed up the text. Oh, well that's such a weird. Why couldn't they just do it like Square or X? Well, you know, this That's was so back odd. in PS2 days, so... <laughs> they didn't care. And also, why in the HD uh, collection is... Are all the cutscenes still in SD and all awful and, ba- like, bad-looking? <laughs> why is that the case? Like, when I first booted the game up and it showed me in the square, I went, this isn't HD? Like, what the hell? It, like, pissed me off. I got really angry. Like, they sold this to people, you know? And then and then when you actually start playing, yeah, it's in widescreen, but by no means has it been updated, you know, for HD right. graphics. But I mean... Right. Which is why I think that it's, it's not impossible to put some trophies up in the Grand Theft Auto games, but we'll get to that in a little I, bit. Well, there's that's, some news. It's not impossible. It just takes a long time. That's what I'm saying. It's not like... Well, we're, we're going to get to that, because there's news regarding that. Okay, well, anyway. <sighs> um, I've been playing Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. I'm not that far in it, but I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I don't know why people give that game so much shit. But y- y- when you play through the rest of the plot, you're going to realize that the plot's not so great, and the story's kind of short. The yeah. gameplay itself is Well, fun. I mean, the first one was really short, too, but... It's a, it, it's even shorter, and you don't feel like you. The biggest problem with it is not even that it's just in in just in terms of length, because it's probably not too much shorter than the first one. The biggest problem is that the story kind of stagnates. You don't really go anywhere. The story feels like you did a whole lot of nothing. Hmm. Interesting. All right. 
The game's still fun though. I, I, oh yeah, no, like it's still fun to play. It. Yeah. Yeah. I need. I want to play the first one again. I I love the first game. Thought it was so much fun. I never played it. I only ever played the demo, and I didn't like it. Telling you, the demos are just not good. Demos can be very misleading. Yeah. But um. Yeah. To uh. Star Wars Force Unleashed, I started another campaign in Transformers uh, Fall of Cybertron because I've been watching the cartoon and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. It's really fun to watch. Mm -hmm. The original cartoon. Uh, <clears throat> what else? That You know, that that game's still great. I'm surprised, like, nobody t nobody talks about that. It was, it was nominated for, I think, like, it was like shooter of the year at the VGAs. I don't think it won, but it, I mean it got nominated, so that's cool. And then um, Dishonored. I got past that second mission that I was on, where I had to start over to talk to that guy. So I did the entire non-lethal kill for the for the second mission, like the two brothers that are in the whorehouse. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Um, you basically just find out the deets on their on their on their dealings and give it to this guy who is Spoilers. like who he wants to dist distribute yeah. him but you know it's fine all right <laughs> it's fine those are not really the biggest spoilers all right um and then some PlayStation All-Stars on my Vita which is very fun i played a little bit of that Mm. Uh, we were we were hanging out, and uh, did, oh, right before we did a couple other shows that you should check out, but we'll talk about it in a little while. Uh, I play a little bit of uh, PlayStation All Stars on the Vita, and it's really good. It's really a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, listeners. Uh, at some point this week or next week, I will be editing one of our new shows. Or oh, well, it's not really new. It's like like a revival or a re it's a, yeah, it's a revival, a, a rethought, of an old show. It's um, kind it's kind of new because the because uh, the first episode we did, Catherine of Intoxigaming, that's what it's called. It's Intoxigaming. Uh, the first episode we didn't have like the live action sequences. Yeah, that and just, it wasn't like, really a game. game. It turned into a game now. It now is. it's just, uh, it, like, the first one, the first episode we ever did was kind of just like, let's get drunk and play video games, see what happens. And then uh, one of our um, friends ordered fun. ordered pizza in the middle of it, and, like... That was the funniest part. Yeah, I mean, it was it was funny, but I think it's more interesting now. But you you guys will see, we played Dishonored, and we we uh, we made a drinking game out of it, and it was it was fun. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh... Yeah. The best part about that night was that right after we did that, we uh, we did a picture show. I don't know, you know, if you guys. It's on VGU uh, TV. <laughs> follow us. We we also have a, a show called Picture Show Madness, and uh, so we had a very obnoxiously drunk Picture Show Madness. Where we watch RoboCop. <laughs> we watch RoboCop. That it was, was lots funny. of fun. Actually, half the episode is just us drunk, like, coming down from being drunk, yelling, Cat dog! Cat, Cat dog. dog! That's about it. And hey. I, and like me, like, I'm gone half the time, but like, but like, you can hear me trying to like, scream, <laughs> scream, because I'm like in the other room. You, you, like, you, 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 DGU TV. It'll be up there. Oh, anyway, yeah. um, and then I played some Dota 2 with Scott in an attempt to do a VGU plays, but due to a lot of um, graphical hitches and um, lag and a lot of other issues, that episode will not be coming out. So, uh, One of the lost episodes. We have so many lost episodes. Yeah, well, it's not because like anything happened to the video. It's because while recording, like it was just so bad that it's unwatchable. Yeah. And we we're and we both. Well, that is like, most of our stuff, though. To be fair. No. <laughs> Shut no, up. No. <laughs> Shut up. We, I thought we, that was funny. We got it figured out. We're it's just amazing. it's like Dota Two takes a lot of it. It's very taxing on RAM. 
for some reason. I have no idea why. It is like the most taxing game on my computer. And mm. when while and trying to record it while playing it for some reason is just not doesn't work very well. So yeah. And and the footage was just like really grainy. It looked gross and it and it didn't run well and we had lots of lag and we were doing really bad. So I just said, you know what? I don't think this one's gonna work. So we didn't do that one. Mm. Sorry, Lithuan Earth. <clears throat> um, are you done with your? What are you playing? Um, yeah, and then I basically just Bioshock Two multiplayer. That's that's it. Well, cause oh shit, because uh, without uh, or before I forget, I was gonna say about Devil May Cry. This is this is what I've noticed about Devil May Cry, the the actual uh, the actual chronology of the games, it's uh, three one four two, mm-hmm. and so I've realized that that's, uh, that if you play it that way, the series gets progressively it, it gets it goes from great to uh, to progressively mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, hopefully, Just, hopefully DMC fixes that because that game was that game's awesome. Yeah, I really like the demo. Yeah, and the dodging is good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It's it's. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm not gonna get it on on day one, but I do wanna. Yeah. Do wanna play it, listeners? I'm like really big on my action games, and if I can't dodge well, like I just get pissed off. Yeah. So that was where that came from. Anyway, the news. Yeah. yeah. So the VGAs happened. Was it Sunday? It was. Or was it Friday? Friday. Friday. It was Friday. Friday. Okay. A um, lot of trailers. A lot of news came yes. out. Yes. Yes. Um, let's just start with the one I'm looking at right now. Uh, the Last of Us VGA trailer. Oh my God. The it was Last really, of Us. really good. It was. Um, Man, that that trailer was really something. I'll tell you what. I am so excited for I know. Last and, of and Us. Coming out earlier than expected, May 7th. Yes, this is true. It's going to be a going to be a fun midnight launch, I tell you what. Oh my god, I'm very excited. That I think that's going to be another day one purchase that I'm going to have to try and go for. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, like, there are a lot of games coming out next year. There are a lot of games. I have to get Tomb Raider day one because I'm reviewing it. Yeah, well, and Tomb I want to get Bioshock day one, obviously. And I want to get Grand Theft Auto, obviously, day one. And so I, I'm thinking Last of Us is also going to be one of those that just I can't do without for any amount of time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, also... Not a lot of people noticed this, but they announced multiplayer for Last of Us, and that uh, kind of got yeah. kind of got shunned in the in the in the dark recesses of the internet. But yeah, it's official. Last of Us has multiplayer. They didn't show any um, they didn't show any screenshots. Didn't drop any deets other than the fact that it has multiplayer. If you go on the U.S. PlayStation blog, where the VGA uh, 2012 trailer and pre-order bonuses are. One of the things they say is the pre-order bonuses on the little card in small text that says multiplayer skins, and it also says uh, uh, like uh, multiplayer uh, like experience bonuses or something like that. And and then if you read under it, it says it says multiplayer question mark Yes, there's a it's official multiplayer in The Last of Us, but we're going to be but we're not ready to talk about it. So. We'll see what that's like. Well, I mean, when when it first came out, we you know, we said, you know, Last of Us looks like a game that doesn't need multiplayer. It's got it, <laughs> but it's ha- but it has it. Yeah. But well, we also know that Naughty Dog is not bad at multiplayer. No, they're great at multiplayer. They're great at multiplayer. They're great at everything. Uncharted. Uncharted is arguably the the best multiplayer experience. It's like Gears of War for the Xbox. It's it's the most fun multiplayer on the console. Yeah. Well, I'm not so, gonna argue with it there. It's like the staple multiplayer game for PlayStation. Yeah. Right now, other than like, Killzone has its community, 
but it's not a, it's not as big as Uncharted. So, and I think that it, that The Last of Us is already like really intriguing. Like you know, there are some monsters. And you can see in the trailers that there are some monsters, mm-hmm. but really, it's mostly a battle of survival. Yeah, I always forget there are monsters. Yeah, I always forget there are monsters until you Keep see like about one. The damn tiger. What? Hang on. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but um, you know, it's. It, I think it will be cool because to and to see the this multiplayer experience where it's not it's it's not just it's more tactical because you try you're trying to survive. More like Gears One. Oh, that'd be amazing. We mm. actually have to talk to people. Mm-hmm. Not blindly like rush in we'll yeah. see we'll see what it's i mean we don't know shit it could just be a co-op mode <laughs> like, but even co-op. then that would still be cool i think i read somewhere that it's not co-op maybe it was just campaign co-op but i don't know well they i think they said there's no campaign co-op. there's no campaign co-op i know that much yeah i think when you do campaign co-op it kind of limits you because then you have to it limits you in terms of storytelling because then you have to always have at least two people in the same situation. You can never get like the main character separated. No, I mean you, you could you did that a few times in Gears of War. Yeah, but you 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 always split oh, but it up was like for just like a fork in the yeah, road. you it just wasn't... you were just like let's go here and you'll go here, and then it's like especially in Gears Three, there were always four people around. You know. Yeah, but like in like in Halo, don't they just put another Master Chief there and like whatever? Yeah, well, I mean, that's not... They're just doing that because it's like, you know... It, it's, you're just, it's just supposed to be fun, you know? It's not really part of the plot. Right, it's not supposed to be, like, continuity. It's just, you yeah. know, you got a second player. Yeah, I know, but in a game like Kyle, The Last Kyle of Us, don't you think... Resistance. Remember Resistance uh, 2 player? Yeah. That, it's just, he's just that there. Second, that second player skin was ridiculous. Wasn't it just, like, a black guy? Some black guy with this, like, scared expression on his face. <laughs> but uh, I, what you're saying is basically, like, with with a two-player, with campaign co-op, you can't get split up. Yeah. Because because you can't see two different parts, of, uh, like, two different maps. Yeah. That and, and um, you know, a game like The Last of Us doesn't seem like... You know, it do, it doesn't. No, no, it would break the narrative. It would break the narrative, yeah, and and <clears throat> yeah, I I think it's I if they did a an entirely different campaign for co-op, kind of like they did for Uncharted, where they kind of just had fun with it and made yeah. up like a fake you know narrative to play with. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be kind of cool. Like if you were just playing as other random characters. That would be that would be fine with me, but I don't I don't think they're going to do co-op anyway, so. That is that is that. Enough with the Last of Us news. Um Gears of War Judgment's campaign premiere trailer also came out during the VGAs. It did look very nice. It looks it looks awesome. Um and I didn't I'm a know I'm a big fan of Baird, so, you know. I didn't know. Yeah, but Baird looks less assholey in this. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> he he looked very just like He's down filling, to filling earth. Marcus's shoes. He looked, yeah, he looked very down yeah. to earth. And um, I, it looks cool. I'm, I'm happy. It's kind of like 30 days after Emergence Day, so maybe it'll be a little more dramatic. Like you know, more civilians are running around and stuff. Oh man! Oh, oh you mean so like good. that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that could be cool. But. Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I I'm not expecting the world, you know. I'm not expecting like I'm not expecting it to be as good as the others. I'm just kind of saying, "Hey, a fun spin-off." That's that's kind of what I'm expecting from it. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll I think it'll be fun. I mean, it'll, it, it you know, it really does depend on how strong the campaign is. It's also uh, not um it's not Epic Games in-house making it. It's people can fly. Mm-hmm. To the developers of uh, Bulletstorm. Yeah, Bulletstorm. But you know, it's not their That's own. Gem. But it's also not their own. Um, what's the word? Their own. Their IP? own. Huh? 
Is it, is it IP? I yeah, it's not their own IP. It's somebody else's, so maybe that's a good thing, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm 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 kinda kinda hyped for that one right there. I think it'll be cool. It'll be it'll be a will be a lot of fun the VGU plays coming out of that of course. I'd like oh, yeah. to check it out. Yeah. I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> but yeah. I'd like to play it. Um also Bioshock Infinite got delayed one month. Yeah. Mm. I'm not really complaining because there's so much coming out that it's kinda like something had to get delayed, you know. I was on Twitter this morning, and um, I was reading. I'm sorry, uh, I was uh, I, I was muting the microphone long enough to to crunch some crackers. Um, that sounded vaguely racist. Anyway, it's white. It's not even. <laughs> Just keep moving. Just keep pushing forward. Just keep pushing forward. Keep going. Anyway. Uh, Polygon.com's Arthur Gies was talking about uh, Bioshock Infinite this morning. Oh, yeah. And um, I retweeted, uh, I quoted a tweet of his. He says, I don't know that any game could stand up to 30 months of hype and PR and expectations. <laughs> it's true. It's Bioshock, though, so it's got a lot of... But and And when he said that, it made me realize that's right. Bioshock Infinite teaser came out like a year and a half ago, or two years, uh, two and a half years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we've been building it up. I mean, like you and I, Josh, are huge Bioshock fans. Mm-hmm. So we've been building it up for this long, and so I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm worried, too worried, but I am a little nervous about it. A lot of people are. But um, I think it's gonna be all right. It looks pretty cool. I think it'll be fun. It looks pretty amazing. I know, so I know it will be good, but I worry that it won't be as good as I built it up to be. Well, yeah. stop building your, that shit up. How can you not build it up after thirty months? You don't. You just, dude. That's why I never, I never try to get too hyped for anything because I know, like, on some level, I'm just gonna be upset. Yeah. And also, I already know deep down, it's probably not gonna be as good as the first time you played Bioshock One. You know, but does that mean it's gonna be bad? No, it's probably still gonna be great. But you know, people are just the way they are. I suppose. This is yeah. my... Yeah. What were you going to say? What was he going to say? Oh, I don't know. I thought he was going to say something. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Oh, there was a new Tomb Raider trailer also on the, at the VGA. I haven't gotten to see the that. The To one. Be a Survivor trailer. It's pretty epic. Um, <clears throat> they finally did a trailer where Laura Croft kicks a whole lot of ass and doesn't get her ass kicked at, like all the time. It was very good. Yeah, and I mean that was like a that was complaint from a lot of people. They're like, Laura Croft's just getting her ass beat the whole trailer, and it's like, well, yeah, I mean she's kind of just a vulnerable like twenty one year old. Um, but in this trailer, she kicks a whole lot of ass. Let me tell you, she's like stabbing people. She's she's friggin' like I don't know. She's she's like slitting people's throats and shooting them with arrows and mm. blowing their heads off. It's pretty awesome. And then, I mean, she gets beat the crap out of a little, but all while she's blowing people's heads off and shooting them in the back with arrows. So, you know, it compensates itself. Well, how, I mean, most trailers show, you know, a little bit of back and forth. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, It was a good trailer. Drake's always getting his ass kicked. Well, yeah. (laughs) He's always getting his ass kicked. But that's part of the humor of the character. He's always exactly. Getting he's always getting his And the way he always has those little quips while it's happening. He's always too. like, that's great. Like, oh, man. Like, he's I should have... Like, uh, that guy like, ate his like, Wheaties this morning out of a plane. or some stupid shit. <laughs> oh, it's like falling out of a plane. Oh, oh not good. Not, not good. Yeah. <laughs> like, really not remember, good as you're falling out of a plane. <laughs> you remember when Tina was, like, telling us how that trailer... Like, way oh, back so in the day, it was cheesy. unbearable, it was too cheesy. You were like, Tina, you never played Uncharted. And then she went to Eurogamer and went to the panel, and she was like, I'm in love with Nolan North. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, changed her mind. 
was funny. I miss Tina. She's off developing that game. Yep. Uh, they they uh, got 100% Kickstarter fund, Woo! so they're, they're golden. There you go. They got go. plenty of time left, too. They got like 20 days left. I can never remember the name of her game, or that uh, guy's game she's working on, but... Predestination. Predestination, that's the one. When that comes out, support it. Yeah. Well, congratulations to them. Yeah. yeah good job. Pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, so that was the Tomb Raider trailer. Um, PlayStation Plus is update for tomorrow. It might be out now if you're listening to this. Um, we're getting Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, which is like oh. the, for free, which was the last um, iteration that they come at, they came out with, and we're getting Rochard. Which I, I've heard is very good. I don't even really know exactly what it's about. So it's It's basically like... I don't remember the exact details, but it's kind of like a 2D puzzle game with a gravity gun where you play this, uh, you play as this guy, Rochard, and he's, he's like a space miner, basically. It's kind of cartoony, and has, and you basically solve puzzles and all that, and all that stuff. But it's, it, it's, it's fun. I played the demo when it came out. I was going to buy it, but, um, didn't have any money. Mm-hmm. Just like a, you know, it's kind of a big factor. So, yeah, yeah I'm glad I'm getting it free now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I'm also surprised that Super Street Fighter. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to say this. I was going to say it's another. It's just another reason why PlayStation is a superior machine. <laughs> but James. Jesus. Uh huh. Did I tell you that when I was mucking around in uh, my PlayStation's uh, settings, I found where I could name my console? You can name your console? Yeah, you can name your console. So that if it shows up on a Wi-Fi network, you, you can identify it, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I named my PlayStation the Superior Machine. <laughs> I like that. That's so Matt. Mm-hmm. So uh, I enjoy and I don't that. get to see it very often. <laughs> Pretty funny. So like when I'm oh, but like if I'm like watching Netflix on my phone, like I leave the room and I'm like I'm gonna continue my show on my phone. I'll come back and then and then when I get back into the room, I press the button and it's like play on iPhone or the superior machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's always, pretty funny. Always makes me smile. Actually, mine is named. Uh... Mjolnir, which is Mjol- uh, Mjolnir. Mjolnir, whatever. I can never pronounce that shit. Uh, that's Thor, that's Thor's hammer, basically. Yes. I name all of my hard drives except for my Alienware. They're all named after uh, mytholo- uh, mythological weapons. So I'm, yes. The hard drive on my Xbox is called Excalibur, obviously, because you know X. <laughs> Which was, which, was the sword, which was the sword given to King Arthur, you know, from the lady in the in the lake, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 totally, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, alien, cool my Alienware is actually named after uh, Zeta Reticuli, which is a. This is getting about to get hella nerdy up in this bitch, but it's. <laughs> Holy moly! It's called Zeta. It's called Zeta, and it's it's uh. Zeta Reticuli was basically the star system that the aliens claimed they were from when they abducted uh, Betty and Barney Hill. Just like one of the most famous abduction cases. In Betty US and Barney history. Rubble? No, Betty and Barney Hill. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I only know Rubble, so... I Bam Bam? I saw a kid with a with a Bam Bam shirt on today, and I, and I almost yelled, Bam Bam! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Let's keep times. moving. Let's keep this train going. You know what I call my Xbox? Xbox? I call it an Xbox because I'm not a weirdo. Fuck you, James. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, because it's not the superior machine. You call it a you call it a disappointment. That's what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Woo! Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Valve is testing Dota 2 on tablets. God knows why. Uh, <laughs> um, speaking with Kotaku, Gabe Noel, the living bowling ball, sheds some light. 
sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Matt, your laugh is infectious. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, Gabe Noel shed some light on Valve's dabbling in the tablet scene. We're working on getting Dota 2 running on some tablets. That ended up being kind of a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is that the tablets are getting faster very quickly, so I think we're, we'll get that kind of performance we want um, and other game developers we want in the near future. Um, I don't know why you would put a game like that on a tablet, unless it was like, you know, a Surface where you can put a mouse and a keyboard on it, but, God, if you were trying to play a MOBA game on touch controls, I think I'd rather die. That sounds awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still just I'm still chuckling at the call it a disappointment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just like brightened his whole day right there. Oh man. It's so funny. <laughs> anyway, still looking for some news here. Uh I got some news. Oh yeah? So, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is going to be released tomorrow. That would be, uh, it's not going to be tomorrow when uh, this goes up. It's going to be December 11th, Tuesday, mm-hmm. uh, on PSN as a PS2 classic. Because I don't know how many times I got to tweet at Rockstar to just make a goddamn HD collection. Because that day. would make them way more money. They'll do it one day. People want to see trophies and platinums. So. You know, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's coming out tomorrow or a couple days ago, depending on when this comes up. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll see. I mean, I, who actually out there plays games like that on iOS devices? Somebody's doing it if they keep making them. Somebody is. <sighs> that, those are those are long games, so you know. I mean, they're probably really good for. You know, big poops, big shits, or just like sitting, uh, sitting bored in class or uh, on break at work or some shit. You know, I guess I don't. But I mean, I just like to play it on my PS3 with trophies. Uh, you and a lot of people, they will, they'll do it one day. All right, one day it's gonna happen. You just have mm. to be patient. Mm. That's not one of Matt's strong suits. Yeah, that's true. Mm. So, also, can we can we talk about this while Josh is still looking for news? I found what something, but what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the we were we were still talking about the VGAs, and I want to talk about the VGAs game of the decade and game of the year. Now I don't, don't know what one. Because I didn't pay attention. Because I wasn't. I was out of town. So well, I have no idea. Walking Dead got game of the year. Walking Dead All got right. game of the year, which I, okay. I, which I believe deserves. But we can go into more detail with that later, because because we'll probably do a roundtable podcast. It's on not that. my game of the year, but I it, it, it deserves. That's because it. you haven't fucking finished it. Well, I I well I mean <laughs> it deserves it. From what I've played, it's great, and from what like everyone says, I think it I think it well deserves game of the year. It's not my personal game of the year, but I'm not like. Man, like, you know, some other game should have been Game of the Year. What a disgrace, the VGAs. Because I'm sure somebody out there is saying that. Like, <laughs> I can't believe Blap 2 wasn't Game of the Year. Anyway, the, and wh- we don't have was, to, we don't, these we don't have to linger on Game of the Decade. We don't have to linger Half-Life? on Game of the Year. Was it, Half- we both, was it Half-Life we both, 2 or Half-Life 1? I'm trying to talk. <laughs> <clears throat> I I want to uh, I want to save the game of the year topic for for our roundtable podcast because that that time is coming up. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's gonna, we're gonna do a video for our yeah, what we you. all vote in as like VGU TV is game of the year and all that. Okay. But what was Matt saying? Yeah. Matt. Finished. Anyway, game of the decade. There were I don't remember all of the all of the nominees. I can list a few of them off the top of my head. I know Portal. I can't remember which Portal it was. I think it was Portal One. Um. There was Arkham City, Red Dead Redemption, and Wind Waker, and Wii Sports. Okay. And the one that won was Half-Life 2. 
All right. Now, do you agree with that? Yeah. Ghostbusters. God damn it, James. I agree with it. <laughs> um, I don't have a problem I mean, I don't yeah, with Half-Life actually... 2 being picked. I don't know if I agree with it, if that's what I would pick, but I don't have a problem with it. See, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, Half-Life 2 <clears> is the greatest <throat> game ever made. I enjoy Half-Life 2, but I don't have a problem with it being Game of the Decade because it's so influential to so many people that it makes sense. I kind of feel like Modern Warfare 4 is a better pick. If you want to really talk about shaping... Well, like, yeah, Modern but I mean, that's... I, I, I agree with you, but it's also, like, debatable. But I... I it well, Half-Life 2 is debatable. Are well, you talking I, about I'm Call of Duty 4? I, yes. Well, okay, did I, I say Modern to, Warfare 4? Yes, I need, your, I need to Modern rephrase that. Call oh, of Duty, okay. Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare. That's what Call I Call of Duty Sorry. 4 versus Half-Life 2 would be debatable. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> okay, now... As terms of That's influential, I, I, I personally, of... I personally don't find any of the games really that influential. You know, so especially not you know Red Dead Redemption or Arkham City or or any of those, uh -huh. or even Wind Waker. So <clears throat> I don't think that it was about that, and so I don't believe that that. Uh, I, I mean, this is just one man's opinion. We all know that I'm not a Half-Life fan. I hated it, but pushed through it anyway. Um, I don't believe that Half-Life 2 deserved it. I, I've, I think Red Dead Redemption or Wind Waker might have been better choices. Or Portal, even. I'm not even, I'm not even like against Valve, even though I'm not a big Valve fan. I don't know. It's hard because you have to really define what you mean by Game of the Decade. And... Um... Because, like, if you're going to say the game that defined the decade, that is a definitely a different question than what's the best game of the decade. That's a whole different question. Um, there's two different questions, questions, but who knows what they meant by that. Yeah. Um, I honestly th think that Half-Life 2 has had a profound impact, and I think it was a very good game that I think a ton of people enjoyed. So I don't have a problem with them calling it the game of the decade because it clearly has had its impact on gaming. It clearly set the standard for a lot of different things, um, especially in the first-person shooter genre. So I think there's a strong argument for it. I don't think it doesn't deserve it. Yeah, bro. I agree. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't feel that Half-Life 2 was I'm glad Call of Duty didn't, right win, choice. didn't win freaking Game of the Year for once. Now, like, I feel like the VGAs actually have some validity. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, nothing oh, against... Because, it, because you don't like Call of Duty. No, no, no. Nothing <laughs> against Call of Duty. It's just, there's always stuff that comes out that's way better. And it and, and it, it always gets overshadowed because everybody's like, well, Call of Duty sold more, you know? But they actually had... They had, like, indie games and stuff open this year. Like, that. I don't think that's ever been done before at the VGAs. Not to mention, what is it? Journey is Journey soundtrack is winning a what? A what? Emmy? Gra Grammy? I don't remember. I can Grammy. never. Just well, I don't think it could win an Emmy. I think it's yeah, Emmys or TV. Yeah. I always forget which is which. But um, so you know, great Grammy's the music. Yeah. Okay, so Grammy, <clears throat> Journey's soundtrack is up for a Grammy, <laughs> which is a first, I believe, and that's cool. That is cool. I don't know. My my, per I mean. I also just don't think that Half-Life 2 was that good of a game. Well, the only qualms I have with Half-Life 2 are the vehicles. I really can't stand driving those vehicles. Oh, I hated dri on the driving uh, parts. The, vi the, vi the, the driving parts are pretty awful. but It was um, so terrible. The controls the were, just, well, were just shit. The rest of it is cool, though. So The rest of it's okay, but I mean, like, it's well, definitely... You guys, played it, it also got, you guys also played it on console. The, con the vehicle controls are much better on PC. They're actually, like, I manageable. I doubt they're that much better because... No! The whole system I'll give, the I'll give half -Life, I'll give Half-Life 2 this much. It's <clears> better <throat> than Half-Life 1. James, I James, I've played, played I've played both versions. I played the Orange Box version when it came out on Xbox 360, and mm -hmm. then I played the... I've played the PC one, and I hated the game when I played it on Xbox 360. But I I like like it a lot when I've been playing it on PC. And the controls are way better. Were you using mouse and keyboard, or were you using a? I was using mouse and keyboard. 
<clears throat> it's just yeah. better that way. I don't I know. I hate mouse and keyboard. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying the control <clears throat> scheme is better or worse. I mean, that's also a debatable topic. But well, I'm saying, I'm saying that playing that game just is better on a mouse and keyboard. I don't know what it is. Just. Mm. Feel, well, I think it was feels more PC natural, and yeah, it was it it was made for a it was made to be a PC game. So, to answer the kind of the question, I don't think it's undeserving. I might not have picked it, but I don't think it's undeserving. Yeah, but Half Life One is a really bad game. Well, it wasn't back I've never, then. I've never you need, to under, you need to understand that back... It's like jumping into GoldenEye now and saying GoldenEye is a bad game because it's kind of hard to play right now because yeah. of how good everything has come, become. Well, even know, old go game, back to 1997, I mean... No, even even games like Ocarina of Time are, are good now. Yeah, because that game is timeless. There's some that are timeless and there's some that were like, yeah, they're great memories, but other than that, you know... Well, how far has the, how, how far has the adventure game... Uh, genre really expanded since Ocarina of Time as opposed to the shooter genre. The shooter genre has defined itself way more True. in the in, since the N64. Yeah. And if you go that, back and play shooters from back then, they're so goddamn generic. Now now there's like actual... I argue that a lot of shooters now are still generic. Well, yeah, but they're all the crap ones. Like, most of the shooters that come out now, like, they actually like get resistance. some... Yeah, well, Resistance 3 is still amazing. All the other ones are really bad, but... Resistance 1 was just so terrible. Yeah, Resistance... But we pushed through that one. I thought Resistance 3 was absolutely fantastic, but um, the others I couldn't get into. Mm -mm. That's why when I, when I had to do the review, I was so pissed off, but when I actually reviewed Resistance 3, I ended up freaking loving it. <laughs> I gave it like an 8. <laughs> I was like, this is such a good game. <laughs> Because it just had more heart than the other ones, and it had, and the weapons were were fun to use. I don't know what happened between two and three, but the weapons got like way more fun to use, and probably a better protagonist. I guess. I guess that's all you needed. But Nathan Hale was a shitty protagonist. Yeah, and Nathan Hale sucked. the The guy in the third one was like, uh, I can't remember his name because obviously I only played the game once, but um, much better. Just su it was such a better <laughs> game. <clears throat> And then, uh, and then, yeah, I haven't played Burning Skies. I mean, I played the demo for Burning Skies, and I was like, eh. But, and then everyone said it was bad, so I, I never played it. So I was like, I don't care if there's trophies. I don't want to play. I don't want to sit through this. So. Yeah. That is me. I can understand that. Yeah. So anyway, let's let's move on again. So. Um, Tyranny of King Washington, this is the alternate history Assassin's Creed 3 DLC. That finally got, um, a trailer. Uh, yes. I have not watched the trailer yet. I saw it. It was good. Cool. Cool. If I played Assassin's Creed, I'd be, I'd be excited for it. I, I'm excited for it. Um, I need to, I still need to pick up the season pass for that, but I haven't done it. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up, like, waiting until, uh... The DLC is on the cheap, like, there's some kind of sale, like, a year from now, where all the DLC is, like, half off, and I'll end up just snagging it all, but... That's what I did with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I got all the DLC for that game, but I got it when it got really cheap mm -hmm. on the PSN store. So. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I also hope they take a year break, like, for Assassin's Creed. It needs a break. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. Yo, yo, yo. But I didn't have to see any more Assassin's Creed bullshit. <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so, interesting story that happened over the weekend. Um, Let's go on. A game got announced. That a game got announced? It was at the VGAs, and it was a trailer for a game called The Phantom Pain. And the Phantom Pain? Don't, oh my god, don't, that Say don't anyone say anything about this because it's an interesting it's an interesting uh, this is an interesting story it's yes. an interesting tale going on here so the Phantom Pain and everyone kind of knew what it was because obviously the characters in it look like Metal Gear and like the graphics and everything looked just like Fox Engine uh -huh. looked and everything but they said it's called the Phantom Pain and it's being made by Moby Dick Studios. 
And that's all they really said about it. And everybody was like, well, hang on. That kind of looked like Metal Gear, <laughs> right? So, and it's also, it's also interesting to note that people from Kojima, uh, Kojima Studios were there wearing Moby Dick shirts. Yeah. Um, and also, a lot of people did digging into Moby Dick Studios... And I forget what country they're registered in, but their CEO um, had a... I can't remember the CEO's like name, and I can't Joaquin. find it right now. Huh? Joaquim. Yeah, Joaquim, which was a... An anagram, an anagram for, for Kojima. For Kojima. So, basically, they just showed off more Ground Zeroes footage, but they were like, it's the Phantom Pain. It's an interesting trailer, though. I haven't watched it yet. I need to. I need, still need to watch it. And it makes sense, you know, because the Phantom Pain it it features a character with a hook for an arm, and the Phantom Pain is <laughs> is a term for you know somebody like an amputee who can still kind of kind of feel the pain in their in in their removed limb. Yeah. But yeah. Um, in this trailer. I'm going to kind of summarize it for you. This guy's on a... This guy's on a gurney. This doctor... And he wakes up. The doctor's like, uh, just, just, you know, lay back down. You're on your eye. Let me explain some things to you. He looks over. It's first person's perspective. He looks over. Sees he's got a hook for a hand. He's like, oh, shit. And then... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and then things start to get pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> like, they're... There's, like, guns and explosions. and Things begin to go awry. This guy comes in and his face is all bandaged. He's like, I gotta get you the fuck out of here. And then, and then they start dragging him away. But he can't fucking walk yet. So, like, half the trailer is him crawling through a hospital. He's just like, Ugh, yeah, Middle Gear. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I, I don't know. He hasn't said that. But, uh... It's very intriguing, and then, like, and then, like, it gets really cool, because you're, like, there are these soldiers all up in this hospital, they're killing people, there's, like, text on the screen, it's like, what's going on? Do they want me dead? Do they want us all dead? And then it's, and then, like, like, this guy hide, uh, hides him underneath a bed, and then they find the other guy, and then they shoot him in the head, and they don't find, uh, they don't find the player, so you're like, oh, shit, this is crazy, what's going on? And that's when things decide to kick it into a, n a new gear. When Metal a gear? man, when <laughs> <laughs> when a man walks down a hallway on fire, <laughs> just on fire, not screaming in pain, not like Whoa! on fire, more like, yeah, what's up? I'm on fire. Want to fight about it? <laughs> and he just looks at you, and you're like, oh shit. And, you're th and when you think that's crazy enough, then comes <clears throat> the flaming unicorn in the sky. Excuse me? This flying unicorn on, uh, made of fire with some rider on, on it. And then you think, whoa, that's, that's pretty crazy. And then, just, uh, just before the, um, the trailer ends, they zoom out. It's almost like a shaky cam footage, like Cloverfield or some shit. And here comes this gigantic whale flying through the sky made of fire. What? And you just hear this, <laughs> the whale, just like, <laughs> it just chomps down on something. I don't even know. But <laughs> I think it's just like, boom, the phantom pain. Dude, if Metal Gear wasn't so established, like it, people would be like, "What the fuck is this?" And then, right after the title, <laughs> you know what I think? Sorry, I have to interrupt. But I honestly think that Kojima's just out of ideas, and he's like, "How far can I take this shit until people go, wait a minute, this is stupid?" <laughs> and then, <clears throat> right after the title screen. Which I'll I'll mention is is arranged in such a way that there are like pieces missing in the letters, you know. You can still read it, but there are just like little blank spots that somebody said you could fit 
Metal Gear Solid Five in here. Anyway, so right after the title screen, there's a little bit more footage. I can't exactly remember if I, I believe someone is pointing a gun at the player. You finally get to see his face. You've been seeing his mullet the entire time. It's third-person perspective. And you see a beard, and you see someone that looks suspiciously like Snake. And then they lift the, the gauze that's wrapping his, his head, much like a headband. And you can kind of see an eye patch, and you're thinking to yourself, well, that's Big Boss. So that's, uh, that's the Phantom Pain trailer. <laughs> well, all right. It, or you could get Matt to explain it to you. You got two options. Or you could, or you could watch it while he just describes everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a commentary. Oh man, that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Now here's here's the thing. All right, the 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 poster for Ground Zeroes. Snake ha- <laughs> still has brown hair and brown beard and all that, you know. But if I recall correctly, now correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. In the Ground Zeroes trailer that we saw, mm-hmm. Big Boss had gray hair and a gray beard. Um, it's hard to tell because of the lighting, but I thought it was gray. Some people were like, "No, it's br- oh no no no." They later they confirmed that it's supposed to be brown because they had a, they had like a. They had like a, a picture come out or something that where they showed it and Kojima was like, "No, it's brown." Like apparently the lighting was what did it. Something like that. They okay. they they confirmed it was it was like you know. Okay. Well, then in that case, it's not as hard to understand. Now, a lot of people are throwing around that this is Metal Gear Solid Five, not Ground Zeroes. And I say that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, Cause, that's dumb. Because we already have Revengeance coming out, although I don't believe that that's by Kojima. I don't remember. Uh, I, yeah, I think originally he kind of was doing something with it, but I think he kind of No, they're down. just kind of doing their own thing, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure they have this full support. Anyway, they already have that. They also, they're also working on Ground Zeroes. It would make no sense, not even for Kojima... <laughs> to make two Metal Gear Solid games, two Metal Gear Solid console games at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So but neither does Metal Gear. So, so if the Phantom Pain, <laughs> if the Phantom Pain is, in fact, an elaborate Metal Gear trailer, it must be Ground Zeroes. Yeah, I agree. And it must be, and 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 and. I, w- I tweeted this be- when we still thought it was Metal Gear Solid Five that I I didn't know if uh, where it would be set because you know because I-, I was still talking about the the gray hair uh, you know where would it be it would have to be after Ground Zeroes would have to be after this this game and how did he get the arm back but anyway I don't know you know I'm I'm playing Metal Gear Solid but I'm playing it chron- uh, chronologically so I'm still on portable ops so I have no idea. If Big Boss ever lost a hand or not, so that's something that uh, we'll just have to figure out later, I guess. I guess so. Big Boss just be losing everything. Big Boss is the legendary mercenary. He don't give a shit. He'll keep going if, uh, when he's got. He'll he'll keep going, and all he'll say is it's just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound, dog. Anyway, next piece of news, because that was a long one. Um, The Halo 4 Crimson Map Pack is ready for deployment. I think it's, yeah, now available. So there you go. 2,000 Microsoft points. Holy. The most obnoxious amount of Microsoft points ever. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, it's not as bad as the $7 ones. (laughs) Those ones were stupid. Can't believe that. Wait, how much is two thousand Microsoft points, James? That's like uh, twenty five. No, yeah, it's like twenty five dollars. Yeah, that's a fuck. That's a lot for maps. It is a lot. Jesus that's... Christ! They're wait, just gonna wait, keep... you sh- wait, are you sure two thousand is for the Crimson Map Pack? I thought that was the price. Oh no, War Games Map Pack. Pass. Sorry, man, I'm past. so glad I don't I was play gonna on say, my Xbox. Okay, so uh, 
uh, never but, mind. <laughs> so I think it's only like I think it's only like ten bucks. Never mind. Yeah. I was like, that is absurd. <laughs> no, twenty five dollars for the one map pack would be ridiculous. But you know, I think the season pass is two thousand. Okay. Okay. Oh my <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> um, there was also another South Park Stick of Truth trailer. Didn't get to watch that either. I'll have to check that out. I didn't really get to see it either. So I can't. I can't describe that to you. All right. Uh, Lemmings out for PlayStation Mobile. I don't know if anyone remembers Lemmings, but Lemmings was the shit. All right. Lemmings was tight. It's basically this game where a bunch of these things, these little dudes called Lemmings, came out, and you had like a, a set amount of tools and actions you could get them to do, and you had to get them to the exit, and you wanted to have them have the least amount of them die as possible. And it, you know what? It was actually pretty fun. Apparently, it's on PlayStation Mobile now, so hit that up if you want to do that. Um, I think it's also on tablets as well. Um, Matt already said that. I'm not sh- Oh, Dark Souls 2 got announced? Dark Souls 2 did get announced. Yes, yeah. that's right. So for all you masochists out there, you're going to get some more Dark Souls. Um, I can tell you this, Josh, I'm not going to review it. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Cause... No, no, get someone else. Either leave that or it'll be this is the worst game ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, also, this is pretty cool. Uh, Street Fighter X Mega Man. If you guys haven't heard about this. Did you guys hear about this? I vaguely heard about it, yeah. Um, so, in celebration of 25 years of Street Fighter and Mega Man, Capcom will, will release an all-new crossover 8-bit Mega Man game on the PC December 17th. Street Fighter X Mega Man... Um, was announced during the 25th anniversary finals today and pits the Blue Bomber up against eight popular Street Fighter characters like Blanca, Ryu, Chun-Li, Rose, Dalsim, and Rolento? Who the fuck is that? (laughs) I've been playing Street Fighter my whole life. I have no idea who that is. Um, (laughs) Mega Man will have eight new weapons. It's PC. Oh, yeah, and it's it's completely free. It's totally free. Eight-bit Mega Man game. It's only on PC, but it doesn't cost any money. So, I mean, what are you what are you really losing out of out of getting it? You're just playing a cool game. So, do that. Um, not not seeing anything else here that's really. Um, Halo Four Spartan Ops comes back January 21st. So I guess season two. I right? guess yeah, and I, you're probably gonna have to pay for it too. Wait, January will bring the final five episodes of the season? I thought there were uh, only five episodes a season. Yeah, that was five a season. Okay, this is confusing. That's <laughs> keep turning back on all our all our words and shit. Anyway, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything right now, so I think that's pretty much it for the news. Okay, Josh Edmet back into the call. What? Matt, Matt went and ran away. He ran away. What the fuck? Hang on, now I gotta like switch the friggin' TV because Matt had to leave. <laughs> I tried to add him back, but it didn't work. Of course it didn't work. Nothing ever works. Hang on. See if he can come back now. There it is. There he is, oh, you right. son of a bitch. Oh, Alright, so Matt, wanna grab us a couple of questions? So we can, I uh, have some questions. All right. That's I good. have some questions from last week. From Al, yeah. right? from the super fan, right? Yeah. Nobody else asked any questions. Okay. Uh, we answered that one last year. See, aren't, last, aren't, week. last year? Am I, <laughs> aren't you Jesus. glad we saved some, Matt? Yes, of course. Okay, now, like I said, these ones are tougher. Good. Get me thinking. Okay. Okay. Well, we answered those two. Um. Okay. Would you? Let's start with kind of an easier one. Would you name uh, a pet or a child after a character? No. 
Yeah, I actually, yeah, I would. Um, pet or James, child? It's a pet yeah. or a child. You don't have to name your firstborn after a video game character. <laughs> and yeah, because uh, I kind of want to get like a, one of those litty, those little mini like. Um, they're kind of like bulldogs, kind of like pugs, like those little mutt pug dogs. I don't know what they're called. For when Pupper finally dies. Yeah, when my dog finally kills over. That's the kind of dog I want to get. I wanted to name him Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm obviously not opposed to naming uh, pets or children after characters or people. Um, uh as Josh will tell you, um, my uh, my dog's name is actually named after a uh, previous uh, an old IGN editor, uh, Christine Steimer, mm-hmm. and uh, and um, you know I've always said that you know I, I've always liked the name Barbara because I mean, because I always liked Batgirl, and so if I had a if I had a girl, I would uh, plead with my wife to to name her Barbara. Mm-hmm. But uh, as far as video game characters, it would have to be a really good name. Like, uh, and I and I can't really think of a good one at this point uh, to to name. I mean, like the first one that comes to mind is Booker Dewitt, and I would name a dog that. No fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> Booker Dewitt would be an awesome name for a dog. <laughs> and you couldn't be like, "Come here, Booker." <laughs> You'd have to be like, "Come here, Come here Booker, Booker DeWitt. DeWitt." Come here, Booker Dewitt. Come on. But yeah, <laughs> but I mean, other <laughs> other names, you know, like Nathan Drake, and I'd probably name a, a name name a pet Sully. I would name my kid Nate or Nathan. Well, yeah, well, like Nathan. part of the thing. Part of the thing though is that like Nathan is not Nathan, necessarily yeah, that's exclusively. A regular, that's a regular. Name. It's, it's a regular name. It would so have to be if like you were like just Nathan to call Drake, Drake Mobley. Right. If you were not call him Nathan Drake, then you could just make the argument. Like that. Well, I just like the name Nathan, because it's you know it's just a, it's a traditional name. Now, yeah, if you called him Kratos, that's a little less common. Or me saying Max Payne Mobley. Yeah, <laughs> Max Payne Mobley. Can, can we, can we just go all out and call him Kevin Butler Pungello? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Butler Pungello. Egon Spangler Pungello. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's the entire Ghostbusters cast, Punjala. Are you said more? It would be it would be like Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, like, just on and on and on. Even the people who made the coffee. Rick Moranis. <laughs> Punjello. Hey, Punjello. James, this kid's name is Who Ya Gonna Call Punjello. <laughs> who ya? Gonna call. Suddenly, James's kid is Asian. He's like, "How did this happen?" He's like, "Well, <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was mildly racist." I'm sorry. If my last name was Wellington, I'd totally name my son Beef. Because <laughs> you know, I'm Mr. Wellington. This is my son Beef. <laughs> T- <laughs> Your your kid's like in his first day of school. He's already gonna get ridiculed because the teacher's like, is a and she like is a is a beef Not even the tall beef Pungello. I have to be Wellington. I have to last beef Pungello here. Call him Wellington. Oh God! Even the teacher couldn't stop from making fun. She just starts laughing. This beef like, this is beef jello here. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, can't. she's like, you fucking, you have the worst name <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, beef. I guess to answer the question, yeah, no, I wouldn't name a child after a video game character. I am not a fan of animals, so I don't think I'll ever have a pet. But I suppose if I was roped into getting one by my wife or my children, so I would good. might, I might consider naming them after a. Uh, You're not even gonna, not character. even gonna let the kids name the pet. You're just like, no, no I'm naming this goddamn. No, no, pet. look, if I have to clean up after it, I'm gonna name it. We're getting a damn parrot, and his name is Egon. <laughs> 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 and I am going. I'm going to play Ghostbusters around him constantly, so that is all he will quote. 
Josh is like, I'm getting this fucking this fucking dog, and I'm naming him Parappa. <gasps> <laughs> Josh loves that. Yes. F- Dude, no, fuck Kratos. I'm naming my dog Parappa. <laughs> and every time he walks in, I'm going to go, Ba-da-ba-da-ba! <laughs> every, oh, every time he walks upstairs, Josh is going to be like, Parappa, you got to believe. Yeah, and I'm going to be like petting him and be like, you believe, don't you? <laughs> Dude, See, now, yes! now, I would yes. name my pets after video game characters that were of the same species, like that, as well. Dude, hell yeah, I'm naming my dog Parappa. Like, that's amazing. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess that that answer is. I guess the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. So James will have his parrot Egon. I'm gonna have Parappa. <laughs> I'm gonna put little dog beanies on him so that he, <laughs> with the little frog on it, they'd be like Parappa. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, like that's amazing. Uh, oh my god. Um. Okay. <laughs> I just thought of something really funny. <laughs> if, if 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 James named his kid Beef, dude, all I would ever do is just call him Master Beef. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "What's up, Master Beef?" I like, just give him high fives. I'd be like, "How many Covenant did you kill today?" <laughs> <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then I would always go, where's the beef? Where, <laughs> where was that beef? Oh, man. Do I, have, do I have any more questions? Yes, we have some some questions. <laughs> Woo. These ones are harder. Also, listeners, if you have questions for the podcast, you can uh, send them nope. to us on Twitter. Yes, you can. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Uh, we have three other questions. These are pretty. These are pretty tough. Uh, this one seems to be the easiest one. What setting slash environment do you want games to explore more? I.e., westerns, etc. You know, I don't uh, know. Mm. I got well, there. Are, you know. <clears throat> I do. I love as much as I love as much as I love World War II. I feel like it has kind of been played out, at least in the sh- in the shooter genre. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but I don't know that I would want, you know, like a a shooter in World War II. I would want something like different that hasn't been done. Like maybe, you know. Not necessarily Assassin's Creed, although I love an Assassin's Creed game based around World War II and either like War Torn London or back in the U.S. or something. Mm-hmm. I think that would be amazing. But um, I feel like, yeah, the American Revolution never gets enough, you know, doesn't get enough stuff going on. I don't, it, people, other people, you guys can talk too because I, I got to think about this. It's kind of hard. It's, well, it, is, well, it is really hard. As there a huge... are a lot of settings that yeah. are pretty thoroughly, yeah. you know, done in video games. Like, oh yeah, I, mean, I honestly don't have that's, a particular that's... setting that I want to see more often. I actually just want to see more of the Fallout universe. Yeah. Well, okay, we're talking Fallout about 4. we're talking about history that already. Like, but like know, in terms play. of no, no setting that doesn't mean setting could be anything. You could be space could be a setting. No, no, no. He's, uh, did he, did you say did you say historical s- setting or just setting? Uh, it's it's setting and environment. Oh, okay. Never yes. mind then. Yeah. So okay. it could be anything. Yes. I was thinking. Well, I'm such a history buff. I immediately try to think of something like. Historical. How about like alternate dimensions or something like that? Like yes, you know the you whole, think, whole. I mean, uh, you'd have to explain. Thing. You'd have to define alternate dimension. Okay, so like, I, well, I, multiverse. Like, I have, like 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 see like see different like ways. Like of, the like, DC the world. 50, uh, 52 universe. The what? Yeah. He doesn't fucking know what he's talking. Oh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> but that does give me a good idea. I would like to see a DC game that uh, explores the 52 universes, the multiverse. Yeah. That's why they call it 52. Oh. There's 52 of them. Yeah. Yes. Um. Well, I think there's one again now. I don't know. Well, they uh, they constantly like split up and come back together. 
Well, Final Crisis... Stuff gets weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's comic books. They have to keep it interesting, so... Mm. Um, yeah, I, that's a long... Uh, let's not talk about that right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I have a, I have a new one. It, it, it doesn't... It doesn't get done enough, and it's the Lovecraftian stuff. Uh-huh. So, Eternal Darkness is a is very inspired by H.P. Lovecraft. But I would love to see a game that was kind of. It doesn't necessarily have to be in our universe. Like it doesn't have to be in the 1920s or 30s. But I would love to see a game that kind of took place in a universe or in you know in in that kind of setting. Very you know gaslight kind of stuff that had you um, sort of uncovering some kind of cult and you know it's very lovecrafty and I think that would be really really cool I, I'm I'm a fan of of older older time settings and I like sci-fi a lot but um, I, I always find like stuff between the 20s and the 50s are always really interesting. Mm. Yeah. Me personally, um, I can never get enough of like crime games, you know, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, uh, we had Sleeping Dogs this year, which is basically true crime. Um, I love those games. I also like period pieces, you know, like Mafia 2 or uh, L.A. Noir. So I'd like to see, I'd like to see more uh, of of the different periods of time, you know, between like the 70s and 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 uh, and the 20s and and the 30s and and the 50s and all that, you know. I I'd like to see more games set in that, I, especially the 80s. I love the 80s so much. I, I love, I love just, and I love to see open worlds in, in a different time period. It's like living in that time period. It's the closest you'll get, really. So, you know, that's that's pretty much what I would do. Like, I, like I love, I love seeing these little time. Ca- I do it with books. I do it with video games. I do it with movies. They're like little time capsules of of that period that decade, and I, I, I want to see more games set in different decades rather than modern day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I also like, you know, crime games, so, you know, do, do it like that. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Plus, I'm also, like, a really big fan of, like, gangster history, so yeah. if you want to go all the way back to the 20s and do that prohibition era all that stuff yeah yeah <clears throat> you know what i think would also be a really cool setting is um like prehistory i don't know if mm. any of you know what that is but um well, for recorded history well no like the, the idea uh, prehistory basically or, or like the 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 first civilization as it's called basically mm-hmm. the idea is that the, our current understanding of history is not like we like us as humans were not the first human civilization. There was one before us, much more technologically advanced, and some for somehow some way they they got annihilated and and we basically had to start from scratch and that's like where we are now, and okay. and when that happened, that's when we our conceived history happened. So like the stories of Atlantis and stuff. Okay. That kind of thing. I think a game about Atlantis or um, whatever the other, Lemuria, I think, is the other continent they called it, or or something like that. I think a game about those would be really uh, cool, and not yeah. Assassin's Creed because <clears throat> Assassin's Creed deals with that. But I want, I'm, I mean, like actually playing in in that and seeing the downfall of like their civilization. I think that would be really cool. Right. Yeah. That's that's all uh, I got yeah. right now. Can't think of anything else. Next, next yeah. question. I was well, I was you, just James. trying to did think. Fig- did you figure something stuff. out? Well, I said the monkey kind of thing. Like oh yeah, that, you you, thing. you were just saying the, the oh, multiverse. I have another one. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, um, this is something I've always I, like. It's, it's one of those games that I'm just like, if, if I, I always wanted to make if I could make games. But I would make a superhero trilogy that had choices and stuff, so you could be a hero or a villain, and you kind of make a character. And it's it's an RPG, so you go through your origin story, and then throughout the course of the three, you kind of you know you're a hero or a villain. You have to save people, and there's consequences and for your actions, and like everything gets shaped. I think that would be really awesome, but not like. You know, not like any of the, not a Marvel or DC game. Like it, it would be its own thing. You know, I think that would be really okay. cool. And not, not Infamous. I love Infamous, but I want something where it's more RPG-ish and not, you know, action gamey. I mean, it could be an action game, but I want like choices and consequences, like Mass Effect. The um, while we're talking about that, uh, as far as multiverse. You know what I'd really like to see is maybe a video game adaptation of 52, or maybe just a Booster Gold game where he's running through all of, all the universes. That'd be cool, too. Booster Gold. That would be really Whoa. cool. You guys are breaking up a little bit. Whoa, oh, damn. it's fine now. It's fine Jeez. now. What? <clears throat> no, it's good. We're good. Uh, what were you saying? I'm done. I didn't done. say anything. I just I'm... said Booster Gold. Yeah. I thought you said who's Booster Gold. No, I said Booster Gold. Booster Gold. Alright. He's awesome. Uh, he's the best superhero that you never heard of. Um, Thanks, Green have, Lantern. We have two more questions that we saved from last week, and Albert just gave us two more. Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Albert. He's going to run out of questions. We're not going to know what to do. <laughs> or we're just gonna get so uh, so backed up. It's gonna be like we're still three weeks back, Albert. <laughs> I'm digging through my old statuses. <laughs> um, let's see. This this one uh, this one uh, these two are pretty hard. So I'm gonna ask them both, and we're gonna see if we even have answers for them real quick. The first one is, what game would you write a paper slash do a presentation on? Could be to discuss why it's your favorite or its importance, etc. <sighs> Ghostbusters. God damn it, Jay. I have the same answer for many Dude, of these Dude, it's questions. Ghostbusters. Whenever, whenever he says what game, he just says Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. It's all what game would you would you like destroy any like knowledge of before he even hears the rest of the question? It's like Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Little does he know the person asking this question is a genie, and he just destroyed everything he ever loved. <laughs> <laughs> and only he knows about it. Yeah. And then he's so that he crazy likes Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, a paper but like. I guess if I just had to explain, because like the question kind of is kind of what is your favorite game, kind of a little bit. No, it's what. It's, it's, it's saying what would you write a paper on? Maybe to explain why it's your favorite. Maybe to explain why it's. It doesn't important. have to be your favorite. So it's either favorite or important, but it's one of the two basically. It's basically it's basically the question. For for me, yeah, I mean favorite or important, but like for me, it would be favorite, and it would be like you know, what is your favorite game? And why is why is it your favorite? Why is it important to you? Explain. Um, I've always thought about doing. I don't know when I would ever find the time for this, but I've always kind of thought about doing a docu like a like a documentary video on Assassin's Creed and breaking down all of the all of the. Um, historical fact and all this all the stuff that they talk about like all the metaphysics and all that because i mean i i actively like listen to lectures and read books about a lot of the stuff they mention but i can tell that a lot like a lot of people don't know half of what they talk about in that game and i would i would love to do that or do some really really long presentation where i just get nerdy as hell and break down like all of the like almost like every little reference and all that stuff, like the whole, all the Eden things and the Adam and Eve and all that stuff that crops up in the game, and I would I would do that. 
Well, all right. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I would do. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at my shelf right now, and I'm wondering, you know, I mean, I could pick any game, but it's like, what would I say about it, you know? Mm. And, <clears throat> I mean, I guess, I, I guess, again, it would have to be Grand Theft Auto because of its satire. Let me see. I'm actually looking at mine now, too. But I don't know. It's. It, I mean, and I could talk about Grand Theft Auto as a series rather than just pick one particular game. You know, especially like you know, before there was it was just this whole thing about the. It was a satire on on the American dream, and then five is a is a satire of uh, of the the power of the do, of the almighty dollar. You know. Uh, and, you know, Vice City, 80s culture, was parodied. Uh, gangster movies were parodied in, in 3. All that kind of thing. So. Gotcha. I mean, it, it's my favorite franchise. And I... And, I, I could talk for hours. I mean, and plus there's so many characters. Like, I have you ever fucking went on a wiki for uh, for a game or something and just, you're like, oh, like, I just wanted to look this one thing up. And then you just start clicking on character bios and other things. And but before you know it, you, you've been on the wiki for like four fucking hours. Yeah, that's what happens with wikis a lot of the time. I used to just go on Wikipedia and I would look one thing up, and then all the links would just keep me going. Yeah. And then by the end, like, yeah, three hours later, I want something completely unrelated to what I was looking at before. And yeah. I just sit there reading. And you're like, oh, man. But, um... Yeah, it's, uh... It, and, and that's what it is for the Grand Theft Auto wiki for me. It's just like... It's just like, oh, let me look at this. And then, oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Especially the, the PS2 era, because there are, like, five games that are all kind of interconnected, and there's a bunch of characters that, you know, you see more than once throughout the uh, throughout those five games. So it's really fun to see where they pop up again and all that. Yeah. Um, this, is, this doesn't pertain to one game, but I would love to do a presentation where I, or, a, or a video where I break down um, biblical allegories and and uh, mythology and symbolism within mm -hmm. games because I notice it all the time because I uh, like I, I I I took mythology so I I always notice a lot of like the Greek myths get done in video games a lot because I mean they're overdone all the time and then I always notice a lot of uh, biblical symbolism and allegories in a lot of games and people think like. Uh, think I'm crazy for thinking that Kratos is supposed to be like the Christian god just because of the way a 3 ended mm -hmm. but I really think that's what <laughs> I really think that there's a lot of clues like that I noticed and I'm like dude and I, I tried to explain him and, to a friend of mine and he was like I don't know about all that and I'm like yeah but how many books have you read about this stuff <laughs> none you know but um yeah I would love to I would love to do something like that because I mean even games like Halo have a lot of it in there, surprisingly enough. I don't know about 4. I don't think 4 really did, but... Um, 1 through 3 did, definitely. I think... Uh, I think I can also... I, I could do an old-school book report kind of thing on the, on the Max Payne franchise as well. <clears throat> Because it's just, it's it's so good. Especially, well, especially the first two. The third one was, was great, too. But, you know, like, the first two are just timeless. They're classics. How about that movie, though, huh? Oh, man, that movie was a piece of shit. <laughs> I was thinking, so angry. I was thinking about that the other day. I don't know. I don't remember why that even popped in my head. But I was, in my head, I was flashing comparisons of the Max Payne movie with Max Payne 3. And I'm like, they're not even the same thing. Like no, especially because Max Payne the movie was based off of Max Payne 1, and uh, Max Payne 1, like, there were just a lot of issues with that movie. Like, they made the first boss the, the fucking, 
bad guy in the movie. Like, the bad guy. And then, you know, had all this double cross and whatnot, and, and characters that weren't in there, and fucking Mila Kunis is Mona Sachs, and that's not right. And then there's fucking Valkyries and shit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. With that. I was like, there are no Valkyries. It's like, this isn't too human, goddammit. This isn't Norse mythology. This is Max Payne. I always be, said. I always real. said when I was uh, when I was uh, when I would become a famous filmmaker, I would I would do the Max Payne uh, movie right, <laughs> and then probably do the Kane and Lynch movie right too, because Jamie Foxx can't be Lynch. They sound racist, but you know, Lynch was white, so I forgot they were even doing that. It's like who's gonna care about that? Like honestly. I'm sure uh, who even who even still cares about Kane and Lynch? Like, I I I I I like the characters. The first game, like the gameplay, was not very good at all. The second one had like a better aesthetic. You know, the, the whole camera thing that they had going on was kind of cool. Uh, but I learned my lesson with two because two was like four and a half hours that I finished on the day that I bought it. Which was day one, <laughs> foolishly. So I've learned my lesson. So if uh, if there is a Kane and Lynch three, I will play it, but I will wait on it. There are also Kane and Lynch uh, Easter eggs in Hitman, the latest Hitman. I bet. <clears throat> what other questions do we have? We have. It's like the longest podcast we've ever done. Yeah, but it's fun to answer questions. Yeah. Let's do uh, one more question. This is well. This is the last one from uh, from last week. Jesus. All right, let's finish that. So we have a surplus, at least. Oh, whatever. It's fine. We'll do them next. We'll do those next week. This one is really hard, though. We might have to skip it. Uh, depending on how hard you think it is. Uh, there's no turning back now. What are three to five items that Jeez. you would take from a game to use in real life? Woo! That's a good ass Can be question. Anything from vehicles to weapons. Uh, I would take a Mario Star, just so like if I ever got in danger, I could be like invincible, you know. Um, probably. You could only take one. <laughs> I thought you said three to five items. No, I mean you could only take one Mario Star. Okay, so he gets one Mario Star. Okay, well, yeah. I'm just saying that would be fair. Um, I would take a fairy jar from uh, Zelda just in case I I die in a manner that is not to my liking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going on an adventure? Or am I just living my everyday life, like taking these items? Okay. <laughs> I think you're just living you your everyday life. Okay, if I'm, your life. if I'm living my everyday life, I don't need weaponry, so. Um, you know, um, okay, so yeah, there's, I'm, I'm only going to pick three because like coming up with five is going to be really hard. <laughs> um, I would have a, a pop it from little big planet also, because then I could just, you know, I uh -huh. could, I could just plop whatever I wanted down. Be like, I need a, I need a car made out of cardboard just poof, you know and there it is you know that would be the most useful because it's like one item that has millions of possibilities mm. that'd be uh, a funny video to make the pop it in real life James the portal gun the portal gun um, that's a dangerous weapon but it is interesting yeah well I would be lazy with it so yeah, <laughs> that, that's, you know what? That's exactly a portal weapon lazy, laziness. Yeah, that's, I, that, that's what that would be. Technically, I still have two more choices. I would take a portal gun, also. Yeah. I um, take because I would open up a portal in my girlfriend's apartment and one in my room, because then I would never have to buy a plane ticket ever again. Well, you know, I mean, you'd, you'd have, to, you'd, have to, you'd have to not use that portal gun for anything else. That's fine. <laughs> Otherwise, um, you're gonna lose that portal. If we're go are we going from any video game? Could the video game be based off of like a di something else? 
Basically, uh, what I'm asking is, can I take a transporter from Star Trek? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I fucking yeah. yeah. If I can take a transporter from Star Trek, I'm taking that. It's if it's a video Absolutely. game, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there are plenty of Star Trek video games. Um, what'd you say? I was like, fucking yeah. this guy. Okay, I wasn't sure what you said. All right, um, that's what I said. What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh. I'm trying to think of something cool from Mass Effect, but like there's cool, but it's like weapons and stuff. And yeah, as Josh was saying, I don't really need to walk around with like weapons because they're not really. I, I I've killed zero people in my life, so <laughs> I would hope. And so. I'm I'm hoping <laughs> zero people. that 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 total stays where it is. So um, I'm trying not to get into situations where I'm going to need. To, you know, Unless you're guns. gonna rip me apart, then it's then it's. <laughs> but you'll be alive. alive. You'll, it's gonna do, ah. you'll be at peace with your conscience and God. So really, the total is not really gonna count <laughs> anyway. So. <laughs> rip you um, apart alive. There's there's gotta be something else. There's gotta be some other cool uh, item I think. Well, what, Matt, why don't you start, and then I'll I'll keep thinking. Um, I think I would like to have. Oh man, it's really tough actually. The glove from Singularity. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would just be interesting. Just zapping uh, your zapping your stairs back to 1950, just trying to see what's going on, you know. I'd love to <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was a singularity gun. Could you zap old people back to when they were young? I don't know. That would be cool, because I would just zap myself. Like I'd keep myself like 20, 25 for the rest of my life. Um, if I could pick... Uh, do plasmids count as one thing? Like, all the different plasmids, do they count as one thing? I think you had to pick one. Yeah, they're all one needle. Because they're all different tonics, or whatever. That's it's not like it. it's not yeah. like PlayStation Plus. You don't just get one needle, and then there's just a flow of all kinds of other stuff. You got to take multiple needles. Okay, well then, I think I'm looking at my uh, my shelf again. I think I'd like uh, a Pokemon. I don't know which. Probably a Squirtle. But it's gotta be, my no, favorite. it can't be an animal. It's got to be an item. So you would take a poke ball. Then you'd have to go out and actually catch an well, animal. Well, if we're going to talk about an item, then, uh, then a claptrap. That okay. would just get annoying after a while. Not if I fucking learn how to program, so it'll shut the fuck up after a while. Going to turn that shit into a communist if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have John Tanner's uh, John Tanner's car from uh, Driver. I'm in the ambulance. I'm in the ambulance. <laughs> he literally says that. Uh, I know what my last item is. Shut the fuck I want, up. Ba- I want Batman's cowl with the detective mode from Arkham from the Arkham games. What would you like do with detective mode? You'd be like, oh man, I can see all the people outside my house. Like, X-ray vision. <laughs> it's basically X-ray vision. I can see everybody's skeletons. This is pretty cool. I would do <laughs> just about nothing with it. I know, because it's like... You, you, but like, if I ever had to solve a mystery... <laughs> when the, you, what are you, what are you Scooby-Doo down. now? And it's like, I gotta solve mysteries. We need to look and see if these people have skeletons. Just <laughs> Usually Velma <laughs> figured it out, but... Uh, Scooby Doo and Shaggy were just eating. You're like, boy, there's a lot of semen um. in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, oh. Josh had to go there. Thank you. Um, well, it's detective I, mode. I just think that it would be cool. I just think it'd be cool. It not practical, but cool. That's funny. Oh, man. Um. Okay. John Tanner's car from Driver. Uh, a claptrap from Borderlands. Um, I'd like to have, I've always liked to have, uh, Colmagrath's lightning powers. That's not an item. That's not an item, though. 
That fucking counts. So fucking you would have no, to, it you'd really have doesn't. to have the, you'd have to have the ball, whatever it was called, and you'd have to kill like a thousand people. I'm okay with that. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Acceptable. <The race. laughs> You're like, yes, I will go and and ruthlessly murder one thousand people so I can get lightning powers <laughs> in the middle um, of a populated area. I think that counts. I think that counts. Um, I think it does. I think it does. I don't think a superpower counts as an item. It doesn't. I count. think it does. I don't think so. Well, I think two out of three. I think you're getting vetoed. Two out of three. Yeah, Josh and I agree here. It has What's to be. An, it has one? to be. An, it has to be an item. Josh What's and I agree. The two of oh. us agree against you. Oh, I thought you were saying a second item. No, no, no. Okay. So well, it has to be an I, item. Then I take the 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 Electro Bolt Plasmid. There you go. Right. There you go. All right. Fuck. That just wriggled its way in. Fucking Christ. Jeez, Little fish terrible. about to get his cherry popped. <laughs> um, it's like shove as, that in your veins. <laughs> as for weapons, shove that in your veins and feel it. I have I have the master sword and the and the Hylian shield in my room, uh, and, and I put them on display. So you don't even need to wish for that. I don't need to wish for that. But there is another sword that I would like to put on display, and that Gorg is Gorgon sword. Dante's sword. Wow. Oh. I was just playing the game and I can't even remember what it's, it's called. It's Alistair. There you go. That's the one. But uh, it's also. But Alistair, what's weird is that Alistair is actually Force uh, Force Edge in 3, which is strange. Uh, because it's uh, before he got Alistair. What? You get Alistair in Devil May Cry 1. He, he pulls it, remember it comes out I of the know, wall. I know. That's what's weird. Why is that weird? It makes sense, because 3 takes place before 1. 3 takes place before 1, and yet his primary sword is Alistair, the sword he gets in 1. Oh, I thought you were saying, like, it wasn't. I'm like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, then. Okay. Jesus. And, uh... Huh. Yeah, I think that's it. I think, I think that, that's it. I think that about right. wraps up our hey. almost two-hour podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. why don't you do, go ahead and do those closing announcements. By the way, our, our Twitter has changed. It, um, it's now at VGUTV. Wait, wait. This one's an easy one. I want to get this out uh, of the way. All right. Well, we only have two for next week, though. Leave them. No, we actually, he's been fucking giving us more <laughs> the entire time. He will never run out. We have like four right now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use up one right now, because okay. this will be a fun one. All right. Mary Both kill. Elena and Chloe from Uncharted and Lara Croft. What What is Marty Both kill? Mary Both kill. Mary Both. One of them you marry. Double. One of them you. Okay. You, what does Both mean? Means you bang them. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Um. I would. Probably, you know, are we talking? Are we talking new Laura Croft or old Laura Croft? We're talking new Laura Croft. Oh man, this is hard. Um, well, obviously, I would marry Elena because she's like the nice girl and she's a journalist like me. And you know, I would probably just I would probably boff Chloe just because it would be like the ride of your life. And then I I'm sorry, <laughs> Laura. I mean, <laughs> just have to kill you. <laughs> Gotta put, put you down old yeller style, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I love that answer. Plus, I mean, Chloe's got that British accent, and that's gonna come in handy, so. Yeah, but so does Lara Croft. Yeah, but Lara is more innocent, and if you're gonna boff somebody, you're gonna wanna boff someone dirty, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I tend to like my, my sex gentle. <laughs> so, you know, I might. I might switch them I'm more around. More interested to see what James James is gonna say. I I mean I agree with you. I would totally settle down and marry Elena because God, she's just the perfect the perfect woman. Yeah. She's just the sweetest and and the most supportive and the greatest. <laughs> but uh, you know, Lara Croft. 
I mean, Although you, you might, obviously can't. You might get can't annoyed establish. at the might get annoyed at the nagging like when she gets really old. But I, you're gonna get annoyed with your girlfriend by the nagging when she gets really old. Yeah, right. <laughs> he says that <laughs> as though she listens. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's obvious you can't establish a relationship with Lara Croft or or, or Chloe. They're too into their treasure hunting and and exploring and whatnot. I don't know about the I don't know about the new Lara Croft. She just seems like she wants to get the fuck off that island. I don't know if they make. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They... Treasure hunting is she's like one on she's like island. I don't have time to marry or buff you. I need to get the fuck off this island. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna buff Lara Croft and just off Chloe. All right, James, it's your turn. You have to answer All right. this. All right, all right. I'm not. I don't condone um, killing people. Or offing them either um, until you're married. So I'm just gonna play along. So who, need, okay, I so who would be your first wife? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> Elena. Uh, Mary Elena. I Wait, would, first um, or like or like the last? The first wife. That no, you I'm married, gonna play along with the. Fucker. No, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play along with the rules of the game. But I'm just wanted to preface that. Um, and Mary Elena, I'd um, boff Chloe. And kill Lara. See, so, see, job. the dirty British girl's always gonna be the boff. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, Listeners, send us more of those. That's fun. That is fun. That is fun. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> All right. Let's close oh, oh man, these other, these other ones are so good. I love this one too. Oh, save it. Oh, so, yeah, save. We are. Podcast save, is almost hey, yo, like two time. hours long. So let's, let's save, we're gonna let's, save not that I, We're gonna not save. That I, not that I hate long podcasts. I love doing them, but I think James is, like, strapped for time. Okay, well, yeah. I, about an hour past dinner, I'm starving. <laughs> oh, that explains it. All right, Ted. He's like, he's like just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat something. I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, well. Yeah. Thank you for listening to the VG Utopia podcast. Well, the VG Utopia podcast. Not the VG Utopia podcast anymore. I'm corrupting myself. The VG UTV gamer cast. The VG UTV gamer cast. I gotta, I gotta, I practice this all the time. You're making me change up all on, all up on you, motherfucker. And we're gonna, we're gonna make a new website every week just to fuck with you. I will go, I will go bankrupt just to fuck with you. Thank you. For listening to the VGU TV Gamer Cast, I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you want to follow us on the Twitters, you can go. Uh, you can follow us at VGU TV. You can follow us individually. Josh is at Pack Punk. That's P A C P U N K. James is at James Pungello. That's P U N G E L L O. I am at Mattman07. That's with two T's, just in case you're wondering. If you want to play video games with us on the Xbox Lives, Josh is the Jawa Josh. That's the space Jawa, J-A-W-A, Josh. James is Pungello1988 on the PSN. Josh is PacPunk. James is Pungelbro. That's P-U-N-G-E-L-B-R-O. I am Mattman310. We also have a Steam group. Uh, still VG Utopia, I believe, but we'll probably yeah, change. I got it. I got, a, I got a lot of stuff to do. So. We're probably going to change that, so you know, keep an eye out. But in the meantime, you can find Joshua Mobley on there. Uh, we're probably going to change our email uh, for sending in questions, podcast at vgutopia.com in the meantime. Uh, but nobody really uses it, so just find us on Twitter. Twitter is the best way to ask us questions. Send us would you rather, send us Mary Boff kills, and just send us you know, your serious questions. Go to VGU.TV for all this and more, some more of our zaniness. And uh, keep an eye out for uh, for Intoxigaming coming up soon. We're gonna, uh, Josh and I play Dishonored with a friend of ours and make a, and make a drinking game out of it. Uh, you can send in your suggestions. Uh, what, uh, what game do you want to see us play and drink to? What, uh, what rules do you make for the game? Just try not to kill us. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I mean, we we killed an entire bottle of Jameson in less in less than a half an hour just doing that one episode, and we were messed up. So I mean, like, 
we're gonna have to stop eventually. It's just whenever the bottle runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> We also have a show called Picture Show Madness. It's where we want, uh, where Josh and I and a friend of ours, we watch movies and uh, we just. Cat, well, the cast kind of fluctuates on that. The show. cast kind of fluctuates, but it's usually Josh and I, uh, at, at the very least. And we watch a movie and we, and we just talk over it. It's it, we basically record a commentary track. Send us uh, some suggestions. What movie do you want us to watch? What movie do you want to hear us talk shit over? Basically. <laughs> yes. Uh, movies that are on Netflix instant streaming would be would be best. Yes. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, the RoboCop episode of Picture Show Madness, where Josh and I are extremely drunk. I more so than he is. We were coming down from Intoxigaming, and we were like, "Let's just do Picture Show," and we watched RoboCop. So, so you know, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be an, uh, an obnoxiously drunk episode. It's going to be one of those where you either really love it or you really hate it. <laughs> so, keep an eye out. Um, the The commentary will be up, and then there will be a highlights video eventually. Yeah. So, highlights videos are always a lot of fun. Anyway, that's just the VGU TV gamer cast. Yeah. Yeah. Head on over to VGU TV. YouTube.tv. That's the new. Uh, that's the new. Uh, hub. That is the new hub. So check us out there. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Next time. Oh.